Hey y'all, this is Jamie. Welcome back to my channel. So today is the first video of my Halloween tutorials and today we are going to be doing Lucille Ball from I Love Lucy. She is one of my favorite characters. Also, she's a redhead, so I feel like it fits. But before we get into that, make sure that you subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you can be notified when I upload a new video. I am uploading a new Halloween tutorial every Wednesday, so make sure you're subscribed so you can see all of those tutorials. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so first things first, I did already do my hair. Um, so what I did was last night I curled it with a medium-sized wand. You can use rollers if you would rather. I don't have any, so I did use just a curling wand. And I created these curls. So these ones that I did are not too small. You could do even tighter ones. I know that she does sometimes wear her hair in these really tight curls. Um, I decided not to go as tight with them. And then to protect them from coming out from the bobby pins coming out overnight, I did wrap my hair in a t-shirt. And then this morning, I took it all down. It still maintained pretty much all of its curl. Um, which is surprising because I didn't put any hairspray or anything in it. I did spray a heat protectant before I curled them, but that's it. Um, and then what I did was I pretty much worked from the back up. So I took the back of my head and I pinned that up. And then I kind of took the sides and started pinning that. Honestly, I just got to this by accident. I think this hairstyle is best for kind of medium length hair, kind of shoulder length hair. Um, because I had a lot of hair left over that was just kind of so I had to kind of twist it up a little bit so I think this hairstyle is actually probably easiest if you do have kind of that medium length shoulder length hair um, but it does also work for long hair you just kind of have to twist and pin a little bit more so let's go ahead and get into the makeup so we're gonna keep this pretty simple pretty natural one thing that I will say is that a lot of cream products were used so cream blushes um, cream foundations I love Lucy was more in the 50s I know in the 40s liquid foundation was really only used for special occasions I think they did start getting a little less natural um, in the 50s and started going crazy with their colors and such. We are going to still keep this pretty natural because she was still pretty natural on the show um, with a pop of color on the lip. Mostly they used reds, corals, pinks, things like that. Let's go ahead and get into the makeup.
that is it you guys this was so simple to achieve so a couple tips for you guys if you wanted to recreate this as far as foundation uh, typically back then they used either a cream foundation or it was called pancake makeup so pancake makeup is a powder foundation that is applied with a damp sponge they usually didn't wear primers but they did of course still wear moisturizer back then also they didn't really wear concealer they may have used a lighter shade of foundation but typically for all over the face they liked to go with a shade that was darker than their skin tone with a bit of a pink undertone and as far as the eyes uh, they didn't really do much as far as they didn't really do looks that had like five or six different shades all in one look it was usually I only used one for this look right here um, so that's typically what they did so keep it simple for the eyes in the 50s they very much did a winged liner but a very small winged liner so nothing too extreme with of course very thick voluminous lashes so if you have false lashes um, those would be good to use on this look as well and then for the lips they typically did something bold but in the like reds corals those kind of shades that is it I hope that you found this useful and if any of y'all recreate this definitely tag me in your post if you post them on Instagram I would love to see like this video give it a thumbs up if you liked it and would like to see more Halloween tutorials subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you can be notified when I upload new videos and I will see y'all in my next one bye y'all